Breaking news in just the last hour, the school board in Broward County, Florida, the state's second largest school district, voted to keep its mask mandate, defying an order from Republican Governor Ron DeSantis. He threatened to withhold Broward's state funding as well as two more counties. CNN's Layla Santiago reports from one of those counties which started school today. It makes you pause. It, it does make you pause, but our goal is the health and safety of our students and our staff. School board member Tina Certain says she's willing to risk her salary to spare the students of Alachua County from risking their health. As kids step into the classroom for the first day of school, Governor Ron DeSantis is threatening to withhold salaries from superintendents or school board members who are mandating masks. It's about parental choice, uh, not government mandate. Our governor, who's a uh... A Republican, which is in theory the, the party that emphasizes local control and has completely removed the decision-making authority from our own elected officials here. In Alachua County Schools, students are required to wear a mask for at least the first two weeks, unless they provide a doctor's note. Leon County, a similar requirement. The governor's office says those counties are not complying with his executive order, saying in part, when districts enact opt-out policies that require a doctor's note, they are not giving all parents a free choice. But some schools feel they're not getting a choice. If we chose to not do that because of money or politics, then we wouldn't be advocating for the best interest and safety of our students. And that is what we're here for. At Howard Bishop Middle School, teachers told us the first day of school brought excitement, but also a sense of apprehension and uncertainty over the mass controversy and a rise in hospitalizations. Florida has a hospitalization rate that is more than triple the national rate. And the American Academy of Pediatrics reports that the U.S. had an 84% increase in new COVID-19 cases among children during the last week of July. Yet DeSantis is holding firm. If you look at the data, uh, it's totally reasonable for a parent to say, you know what, I'd rather send my kid to school, um, you, you know, without without wearing the mask. But the data shows masks work. Principal Mike Gamble says masks are only one of the mitigation strategies they have in place. We know how to contact trace and who might have been around a positive case. Are you expecting that? Um, I hate to sound like a pessimist, but... Um, we're going to be prepared for that. Alachua County Schools say they are seeing an increasing number of employees testing positive. Two employees and one student recently died from COVID. On Monday, there were 32 new positive cases and 72 employees were in quarantine. And the school year has only just begun. Now, amidst a pandemic and politics. And just moments ago, President Biden criticized the governor's efforts here in Florida to prohibit any sort of mask mandate in the schools, calling it, quote, disingenuous. When asked if he had any federal authority to intervene, Biden said he's looking into it. All right, Leila Santiago, thank you so much. And I want to bring in Leonetta McNeely. She's the chair of the Alachua County Public Schools Board in the Gainesville area. Nice to see you, Leonetta. Today was the first day of school. Ahead. And uh, Today was the how's it been going? And, and, you know, have any parents so far used the doctor's note to get their child out of wearing a mask? I don't have a number on that. Possibly tomorrow after they have a chance to look at the opt out forms um, that may have been submitted today. But today was the very first day. It's an exciting time in the Alachua County Public Schools. Well, congratulations on your first day of school today. Governor DeSantis does not agree that a doctor's note gives parents enough of a choice, and he is threatening to withhold your salary. Are you willing to give up your pay over this fight? Well, you know, it's very important for our children to be safe and have well-being as well as our staff. And so I'm all in. If he wants to take the salary away from us, our board members, as well as the superintendent, I feel even more empowered that I know I'm doing something correct. So what happens if a student shows up to school without a mask and a note? Is there disciplinary action if that happens? No, there will be no discipline. Well, I'm going to say there should not be any disciplinary action, except that we have two nurses at each school site and I'm sure that they will take the opportunity to call the parent, 
to say um, the student is out of compliance, we can do one or two things. Give a call to a parent. We have plenty of masks on campuses. So there is, is no problem handing a student a mask to, pl to put on. So why not do then what other school districts are doing and allow parents to opt out of the mask mandate? Why is there this extra step of requiring a doctor's note? Well, our opt out policy will require because as you could expect, any parent can say their child has a situation. We want it to be um, through a, a physician that is stating that will sign off on that so that we know that this is absolutely the truth. Of course, all of this could be alleviated, alleviated in large part if children 12 and younger could get a vaccine. What is your message to the FDA as you wait for the emergency authorization process to play out? Well, we are hoping that they will continue to adamantly um, push to find um, the whatever they need so that the FDA can approve the vaccine for children um, younger than 12. We certainly could use um, that in our elementary schools.